Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we came home from work very, very early. Actually, three hours early. So I was like, bro, I gotta go. I gotta film up. She's like, wait, what? I dipped. I dipped. So if you're new, by the way, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So in a couple videos ago, I recorded my G35 because there was a freaking a noise coming from the front of my car. It was like it was like a nice pop when I took the car drifting. It was a nice pop, and and I was worried. I was like, damn, dude, my suspension is broken. What's wrong? So we checked it out, and and my mechanic he was able to find out that the bushings were actually completely busted. Check out the this video. Oh, that one's hacker loose. Ah, oh, hell no. Well, anyways, now we're gonna be replacing them with brand new improved design from Z1 Motorsports. These are the uh, motor mounts that Z1 uh, sells on their page, and they're supposed to fix the flaws that the OEM motor mount uh, has. So, with these, not only are we replacing the OEM motor mount, but we're actually improving it. The better part now includes the pair. I believe this goes for I'll post a picture right here of the price for those of you who are interested, and it comes with Loctite as well. And it comes with I don't know these instructions. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna head over to my mechanics house right now. We're gonna go ahead and install the motor mounts. I heard the driver's side is pretty simple, but I heard the passenger side is the real because there's it's a very tight squeeze, and I heard it's freaking ridiculous. I heard that the differential bushing was also hard, and my mechanic made it look really, really easy. So hopefully he does some magic here and makes it look easy as well. Also, my sway bars, I believe, came in. I have not seen the box yet, but I got a notification that they came in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once we once we're done installing the motor mounts, hopefully the video is not too long. I'll give you guys a review. See how different the car feels with the motor mounts. I heard it feels really different and really good, especially with kind of amounts of damage that mine had, dude. I should feel a really big difference. I also felt a creak, which is why I got the sway bars with the brand new end links because the end links are busted. They could cause some squeaking and stuff like that. So oh shit, wrong button. Go. Anyways, we're going to my mechanic's house and my friend is actually coming with me because he's having a little bit of issues with his G2 and hopefully my mechanic can help him out because the dealership has not been able to, but he's got retrofitted headlights. Check them out, bro. That is so sick right there. So sick. Maybe it's time. I know Humble Customs on Instagram has been hitting me up, bro. I promise I'll go to you. I promise. I, I just need some time, bro. I'm about to spend hella money and I need all the money I can get, bro. So you guys know my car has a check engine light because I put the test pipes. We're going to verify if that's the case here. We got this boy. It doesn't work a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on, bro. What, what does it say, dog? Come on. Everything is good. Everything the is Cadillac. good. What does it say? Cadillac. is what it says. Catalyst. Catalyst. The Cadillac. <laughs> Catalytico. Catalytic converters. What is it? What type of perro is? Rottweiler. Rottweiler? Damn. Whoa, he's stunning. All right, y'all, my GoPro died. So I'm, I might not give you the best footage, but. Hey guys, we're getting right into it. He doesn't even know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> oh yeah, that screw goes right there. Yeah, right there. For the motor mounts, we're gonna have to actually lift up the motor so we can get the top nuts from the top of the motor mount. So we're gonna use a second jack sand and you're gonna lift it up from the oil pan, but you don't wanna lift it up just with that because it's gonna bend it. So you're gonna have to put like one of these that's bigger than the oil pan, okay? So the oil pan's gonna be right here in the middle. Ya te lo meto? Oh, that's kind of sus, bro. Ya te doy the jack sand or what? Here's a good demonstration. You pulled out this engine. This is one of the motor mounts here. Busted, of course, but this is the nut we're trying to take off. He's oh, taking yeah. off the bolt so he can take off the alternator. I heard if you take off the alternator, you get a lot more room to take off the top bolt on the passenger side. Okay, so he's loosening up the idle pulley so he can go ahead and loosen the belt, no? See. Sí. Okay, so he just saw right here that the belt is strict as I showed you guys earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Napa real quick and replace the AC belt and the. ¿Cuál era la otra? Alternator? Alternator belt. Look at this. They make uh they make belts out of carbon fiber, so it looks cool. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh bro, you got man all this coolant. You got it? Yes, sir. Almost, almost. Off. Damn. Alright, that's that. This one was good though. Yeah. That was decent. No más estaba loose, huh? Yes, okay, I said. Tell him. Tell me. He doesn't know what it does. Took off one. 
Yeah. Alright, that's so when you lift the motor, you gotta be careful, no hoses, freaking rip or anything. But uh, the motor mount was mounted right there, right here, uh, right here, and he just took it off. This was supposed to be the hardest one. So the yes, bolts boy. for the other motor mount is right there. He said. <laughs> Oh, so we haven't taken the bolts out yet for the top one, but my motor mount was so busted he can literally take it off without the nut. Look at that. Oh, that one's back to loose. So the easy one is actually the hardest one, and the hardest one was the easiest. Man, you're the man. Okay. All this, bro. Bro, we're literally unscrewing it thread by thread, bro. That thing's a hell of a Damn, look, this is the part that ripped, huh? Look, this is the part that ripped right here. This thing was busted. I'm gonna blame this on Juan. Juan broke my car. Nah, this thing was already busted. There you go. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I try to make this a tutorial. Uh, if I, if and, and if it turns out like this where it's super hard and I don't get a lot of good footage and I just don't have a good grasp of what the hell's going on, then I'll just switch the video title to installing instead of tutorial. Like, oh, I just installed some new motors instead of, I'm gonna show you how to install new motors, you know? So it, it switches depending on how the video's going. So this job definitely did not expect to take out the fans. I did not expect to take, a, I did expect to take out the alternate not the AC but we ended up taking that out but uh, yeah dude crazy but anyways he installed it already the freaking that this thing's already torqued up from the top from the bottom not yet because the engine is still lifted because we still have to put in the the driver side motor mount so sway bars we're gonna try to do this on our own it doesn't seem too difficult one bolt here one bolt here take these off you put new bushings the end links right here take off the bow it doesn't seem that difficult so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do the sway bar replacement ourselves and also if you guys are following easy splitters they just released some honeycomb side splitters man they look absolutely fire bro uh but damn the price it's not expensive at all but the purchases that i'm about to make this month it, it's gonna really take a toll on me not gonna lie but i want to do it because i already hyped it up a little bit i like i already set my mind to it and it's, it's long overdue it's literally the end of the car and i'm just gonna i'm gonna treat myself to it and, and to you guys as well because you guys been with me since since literally i got the car like literally so. <laughs> all right so you just lowered the engine yeah all right so apparently he already bolted on both of them they're all set to go let's where, where are they at over right here damn check that out damn it's right there Dude, I'm excited to see how that feels. I was reading the reviews on Z1. You guys are saying that, man, once you install these, that you feel a big difference. So I'm expecting that big difference. Don't worry, stay till the end of this video. I'll let you know if there's really a big difference. I'm hoping so, because the other one's completely busted. This one, whoo, I'm excited, yo. Ooh, man, that's, man, I would not do this by myself, man. I mean, maybe, but. Oof, I would have spent like at least a week taking that off. Now we're just waiting for the for the antifreeze to replace the ones that we dropped, they spilled, and then we're waiting for the two belts that we're gonna replace, and then he's gonna put everything back together: the AC, the alternator, and the intake, and we should be ready to go. All right, guys, he just put the new AC belt line right here. We still need the como se llama el otro belt. Compressor uh, belt? No, alternator. That alternator belt? Yeah. Alright, dude. We're set. Alright. Let's see how this thing drives. I'm gonna let you guys know how it feels. All right, guys, I'm hopping onto my phone because my GoPro is acting up. I don't know if, if it even caught anything, but check this out. Oh, my God. Oh, it feels so much better, y'all. So much better. So much better. Holy crap. Oh, my God. This feels like a dream come true. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna repeat everything I said in the GoPro because I really don't know if it captured everything. But basically, let me put the windows up. So basically, when I installed my differential bushings in the back of the car, um, I explained at the end of the video that one huge difference that I could feel is that the back end of this car felt so much stiffer, felt much more firm, much more stable. It felt secure and it felt really, really, really good. I kept emphasizing that throughout the whole video. And at, even at the end of that video, I stated that the front, the back felt super good, but the front felt a little bit floppy. It didn't feel secure. It felt really bad. It's like really, really hard on the ground. And I just didn't like how the front end felt. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to get end links and sway bars because maybe that would fix it. Well, I took a swing and found out about this popping problem, replaced the motor mounts in this video. And I'm telling you guys, whatever I felt in the back, now I feel it in the front. The front feels so much more secure, stiffer. It feels firm. It feels absolutely amazing, man. I did not think I would feel the difference. I was a little skeptical. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was like, man, I really, I'm crossing my fingers that I, I feel the difference because, you know, like it would suck, you know, do all that pain and all that work that, that my mechanic went through, not even me, but I still got to pay for it. I got to pay for the man, but, uh, and, and not even feel the difference, right? But hold, I'm super happy that I, I absolutely feel the difference, man. Holy crap, man. The front feels so much better that at this point, I don't even know if I really needed the, the end links and the sway bars because this pretty much fixed all the insecurities that I felt about the front. But regardless, we're not going to complain. We already got the sway bars and the end links. We're going to go ahead and install them tomorrow. And I'm extremely excited to feel how, to see how that feels. We're going to go ahead and do a pull. We're in third gear. There's a car behind us, but let's see. Alright guys, it's the next day, but uh, I mean, I just want to say, man, the car felt absolutely amazing. I kind of want to go drive it again. We are about to install the new Hotchkiss Sway Bar set, so now you know a preview of the next video. But regardless, 100%, 10 out of 10 for that mod. Besides that, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We're going to go ahead and install the Sway Bar set. Then we got a little bit something coming in the mail currently. And then today, or yesterday, I just ordered something else that's going to come in. And then April 23rd, we're going to go ahead to Los Angeles to purchase the biggest thing for the G35. Holy crap, things are adding up and things are moving fast. So April might be uh one hell of a month for us so catch you guys later thank you guys for the support we're almost at 20,000 subscribers i cannot thank you guys enough. that's absolutely unreal unheard of in this freaking world right now so i'll uh, catch you guys next video thank you guys for all the love be distinct be safe you guys already know i love y'all peace